Today I'm going to be telling you of a folk saint. It was a little girl who got martyred by her dad after receiving her communion. The name of this folk saint is Saint Incident. Or Incident. Sorry, Incident. Incident. In Spanish, it is translated to Santa Inocencia. The legend of this girl will be told here. So, let's get started. I was sorry that her classmates were talking about receiving their first communion. And she, she told her dad that she wanted to join. But her dad refused since he's not religious anymore since he was angry at the girl and slapped her as she ran crying to her room. And her mother passed away. And then she found a convent and she heard the singings and the prayers of the children. And then um, found her. And she and she befriended her and invited her to, to join and like, join them. And then the big day came when all kids are gonna take their first communion. Same incident. So, Innocent. Uh, the nun gave her a dress, and then she received her first communion to receive Christ Himself. And then an accent there. So she ran home to her dad to receive the good news. Her dad was in the kitchen cooking something up. She told my his dad, and then suddenly the knife he was using to cook whatever food is. He took it, he got angry and animalistic. He martyred his own daughter, and blood curdling screams would be heard, and those were her final moments. The neighbors heard and saw a dead saint incident, or should I say, Una Muerta Santa Inocencia. Her remains were given to a random person in Guadalajara, Mexico, and then when we were later brought to the church, her remains were preserved in wax. There's a nurse story that theorizes that she's one of the people who were persecuted in the first Christian persecutions due to the Catholic faith. And, well, it's displayed today and people ask her for miracles and to intercession. She could still have a potential chance for sainthood, but... More likely not really, since Pope Francis will never recognize that saint. However, in 2012, which was later rediscovered in 2016, because I thought it happened in 2016, there was a disturbing video of Saint Innocent opening and closing her eyes. I should warn you that the footage is very horrifying, so viewer discretion is advised. Okay, here's the footage. Three... Two, one. Here's the footage. Mm. 